Who knows where he is? Hello? Good afternoon, ma'am. This is Ron calling from the corporate office. Am I speaking with Teresa? Yes, you are. Hi, Teresa. Good to talk to you. Uh, reason for the call is that uh, we noticed you'd sent out a tweet um, about, a, a, I guess, a problem that you've had. Um, and this was escalated to me here at corporate. I just wanted to touch base with you and kind of find out what happened. Yeah, good question. Um, so, all right. Um, I am a Hertz President's Club member. I've been running from you guys for years. I had a car breakdown on the way to um, the airport before I went to Puerto Rico where I rented a Hertz car. And when I got back, I um, the car was not repaired. And so I rented a car at BWI. And I had the car for, originally had rented it for a week. I extended it for a week and a half. And then I brought it back to you like three days late. And so I brought it back to you on July, it was Sunday. The, um, oh, the Sunday in July. Yeah. Sunday, yeah. July I, I remember that day. Yeah. 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 So July 28th, I brought it back to you. So you started calling me Monday and Tuesday saying, where's our car? I'm like, huh. I don't have any more. I dropped it off. And, um, yeah. And then you basically, um, I couldn't get in. I mean, you called me. I, I work full time, travel for work all the time. Mm -hmm. I was in the office, but I missed your call. And so I tried calling you back. I was on hold half an hour on one line, 45 minutes on the line phone number you gave me to call me back on or call you back on. And then 30 minutes on the gold line. And I finally threw my hands up and said, I don't have time for this. So I went out to you on Twitter and said, guys, I don't have your car anymore. Fix this. And, um, mm. and so I got a reply on Twitter and they're like, Oh, we don't know what's going on. Give us seven to 10 days. I'm like, look, if you still think I have your car, you can't take seven to 10 days to fix this. So and just finally, confirm with me, uh, just confirm with me what type of vehicle it was. Make sure I got it the was, right. Uh, it was a little, oh God, I don't pay any attention to this. I want to say it was a Nissan Kia or something. It was just a little four door. Oh, the, Nis know, the I, Nissan I, Kia. Yes. Yeah. It looks like what color was it? Black. I think. Okay, you know what? Yeah. You were asked. I, I travel and rent cars with you every other week. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't, I don't pay any attention to this. Right. So, um, so anyway, I basically said, there you go. You know, this, um, here's your, you know, I, I, I brought it back and, um, anyway, um, then, then you, you were trying to get me to, uh, I brought it back on Sunday on Sunday. You were like, where's our car? You're calling us where's or calling me. Where's our car? I finally like threw my hands up and said, all right, I'll eventually figure it out. So then you sent me a bill on Sunday the 3rd as if I had had the car the entire time. And there was an extra $200 of charges on there that I didn't recognize. You know, I don't even know what they're for. So finally, I disputed the whole thing off my visa and said, when you send me a reasonable bill, I will pay it. And look, you know, I have gone out to American Airlines on Twitter and I've had scammers call me trying to get my bank account information. So right, I don't know that right. you're actually with Hertz or not. Oh no. gosh, so, you're, you're welcome to verify the number I'm calling from if that helps. Um, but um, yeah, I mean, the I guess the reason this has been flagged up, it looks like you traveled to Puerto Rico. Is that right? Yes, I did. So we have unfortunately quite a high level of fraud with customers that go there. Um, I, I've actually worked here for a couple of decades now, and we see it all the time. Generally, what happens is um, you get a lot of, uh, like, I guess, unattractive middle-aged women with perhaps some very unattractive political views, and they go down there and try and bag like a waiter or somebody working in a bar and, you know, offer them the kind of whole green card deal to bring them back. And a lot of the time, those people will end up kind of like taking their car or taking their property, things like that. And that's what we've uh, got to watch out for. Uh, I, I assume that's why you were down there. No, I travel for work. I'm in high tech sales. 
I have a double sales. major in mechanical engineering and computer science, and I was there visiting my customer, Honeywell. Right. And I'm married. Oh, gosh, okay. Well, there's, there's no need to get triggered, ma'am. I'm just, I'm just saying it's a pattern that we have with kind of your demographic, that's all. You probably understand all about demographics and things with your uh, your major there. I don't believe you're with Hertz. I'm sorry? I don't believe you're with Hertz. Why would you say that? Because I can't believe a Hertz person would have this conversation with me. I, 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 well, I, I, I'm I, merely being transparent with you about how we, how we operate and kind of what... Uh, you know, it's just to make you aware of why it probably got flagged. That's all. I was renting this car out of BWI. I rent cars from you all the time. Mm -hmm. I take this car out to Baltimore or Washington International Airport, which is an hour from where I live or an hour and a half from where I live. Mm -hmm. And I brought it back to you. So, I mean, I did bring it back to you and then, I actually think that a BWI is just totally incompetent because I have seen BWI, Baltimore, Washington International Airport, be completely incompetent. And again, I travel all the time. So, yeah, no, I, I can see that here. Um, it just looks like you, you returned it late. That's what the charges are for. It looks like you returned it after you, you were supposed to return it. You did mention you returned yeah. it a couple of days late. Right. Yeah, no, but you had an extra week on there. First, you thought I still had the car. Then you had an extra week and a half on there. Yeah, well, so like, no. so when you bring the car back late, that's a standard policy. We charge you for like a week and a half rental. I had already had the car for two weeks. Right. So, I mean, all, all, you know, you should have got a longer rental. That's all. And then you wouldn't have you wouldn't have had the problem. Well, all right. Well. You know, I mean, you sent me a bill with absolutely no information on it. I have disputed it off my visa. When you send me a correct bill, we can have well, a discussion the, about it. The problem is, ma'am, I mean, I, I would have to refer this to my supervisor, but because you've disputed a charge with us, we wouldn't ever be able to rent to you again, and that would include all our partner companies. So it, it's going to be a big problem for you if you try and rent again while you have an active dispute with us for what is actually a oh. legitimate charge. No, it is not a legitimate charge. You charged me eight hundred and ninety some dollars. Yeah, that for, is that is correct. That's the correct charge. What's the what is the exact amount that you that you charged me for? Because I know that number. What is it? Well, ma'am, it's kind of irrelevant at this point. The point is, you it's need not you need to pay that it charge. Is not irrelevant. Well, it's it, not irrelevant. It is verifying that you are actually with her. Well, ma'am, I've offered That's you an relevant. Ma'am, I've offered you an I know opportunity what the number is. to it's do that. It's eight hundred and ninety something. Tell me the exact number, or I think you are. Well, fraudulent. that's that's not a number, ma'am. You would have to confirm the exact number before I know you're a legitimate person. Oh my God, you called me. All I right, mean, you're, you're kind of giving out some strange vibes, ma'am. You've been. <laughs> wow, she is a cunt. Let's keep calling. Wow. Irrelevant. Irrelevant. I love that. Too. Hello? Yes, ma'am. Just to make sure you're fully aware, make sure you take this away, you will not be allowed to rent from us again. I just want to make that very clear, okay? I don't believe you. Let's call the Hertz Gold Line together. I think you're fraud. Go I ahead. You please, go, please go ahead. Caller. Please please go ahead. You will get one of my colleagues, and they will completely verify what I've said. Go uh, ahead. Okay. All right. That's fine. I'll, I'll happily stay on the line. Would you like me to patch them in? I'm 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 conferencing them in. Give me a second. Okay. I I don't believe you. What what do you want me to do right now? As far as because I'm nothing not, whatsoever. I'm nothing. The nothing I'm whatsoever. No 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 no. You would have you would have to do that charge as per the instructions on the invoice. That has nothing to do with me. I can't actually take payments here. My job at corporate is merely to advise you. Okay. So you do realize that you charged me for three and a half weeks when I had the car for two weeks, right? Yes, but you brought it back late. And I've tried to explain to you how this works, but you're obviously a very belligerent Karen, and it's very difficult to do that with you people. Oh, my God. Wow. Okay, bye. <laughs> uh-uh. Just shut her hole. Shut your pie, man. 
Hi, what's your name? Hi, this is Hazel calling from Gold. Um, I just received a note to uh, that your calls to be escalated to me, ma'am. How may I help you? Um, huh. um, I think you are scamming me right now. I think you've got a scammer on the oh. line with me and that you're not actually with her. Oh, okay. Um, do you want to call us back? I can give you my employee ID. I can email you. What can I do to help you? Or I, I'm happy to mark this as resolved, whatever you want. Our calls are recorded, ma'am, and we do not take any personal information over the phone. So your previous we guy just called me a belligerent Karen. Is that how Hertz trains their people to deal with? Absolutely that? not. Absolutely not. Okay. I will pull that call and listen to it. That's completely unacceptable. How may yeah, I help you? I think you? so, too. I think so, Yeah, too. I can only agree with you. Backup recording deleted. Uh, Hello, are you I, I there? Hi, yeah, don't worry about that. How may I help you, if at all? Backup recording deleted, so that was the recording with the... the don't worry, I have a way of getting all the recordings back. That The person who you spoke to is going in and trying to delete calls, but it doesn't work that way. I will be taking care of that person, don't worry. I don't. I, I, I actually don't believe her with her. Okay, okay, let me tell you why I don't believe that, all right? I, 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 I appreciate that, and I don't want you to have a call that you're not comfortable with. That is absolutely not why I'm here. So what we could do is I'm going to mark this as resolved, and you can feel free to call us back directly yourself whenever you would like, and they can reopen the ticket for you. Would that be better? What, what ticket? Okay, here's what I have done. I have disputed the, okay, what do you know about this call? What do you okay, know about so I see that there's a flag on an account. I don't have very much information. It looks like you you complained that you were overcharged on a late return, mm -hmm. and that payment has been stopped on that Correct. charge. I, I disputed it. It's my visa. I've been renting uh -huh. from you for 20 years. Mm-hmm. I understand that, and and that's all I know. And I, I'd like to know how I can help so you. So, if you Karen. cannot tell me, I'll give you my Hertz Gold number. If you can't don't, please don't me, give me any information, ma'am. I do not her. want, madam. I do not want any of your information on this call. Please don't okay, give me fine. your Gold number. Okay. I I can see it in front of me. All right, then then you can tell me the amount of the charge. I, how much I, is it? I here's. Unfortunately, there's been a flag put on your account because you blocked the charge through your credit card company. I did. I did. After trying to resolve it with you guys for literally two and a half weeks. Which is not the way we want to do business with you. However, you have been put on the no drive list. Um, all right. I'll call her directly on the bulb, you know, and see if. You know, that's the case. The reason I blocked it was because you sent me a, call, a charge for two and a three and a half weeks of rental when I had I the see car that. for two weeks. Right? I, I see that. I it but, online. I put it, I put it but in. But Karen, first, please so. understand that th that could have been dealt with directly by us and we would have refunded any undue payments. When you block it on okay, the card, right, it the alerts the fraud. You, you want me to give you what happened with, with your... Your staff via Twitter. Go ahead. Okay, and this Go ahead, after Karen. I tried calling you. I tried calling you, and I tried calling you, and I tried calling you. I was on hold for thirty minutes. But, ma'am, did you and try and call time. us? Did you try what? and call us? Why? No, I said, or did when? you even try to call us? I did. I tried to call you. What happened was. I but did you call? Car. But ma'am, ma'am, no, no, no. Did you try to call us? Yes, I did. And what happened? I did. I was on hold, forty-five minutes on one number and thirty minutes on the other. Yes. You did you anal? Because I don't. Well, we're very busy. Right. So am I. Okay, so, so I can see that you did tweet about us. Um, do you know the difference between the word incompetent? Do you know what incompetent means? Yeah, it means incompetent. It means I, you can't resolve shit, all right, which is absolutely accurate in your particular case. Because you know why? You called mm -hmm. me 
and you said, you still have our car. And I said, no, I don't. I returned it this date. Here's a copy of the Lyft receipt that, you know, where the Lyft driver picked me up at Hertz. You know, I don't have your car anymore. I've been renting from you for years. I understand, no, Karen, but I want you to understand something, okay? Karen? Karen? You said, you said that you didn't think anybody could actually be as confident as we are in your tweet. And Being yes, we are very confident. confident. So thank you. You said confident. And then we said, we've got the cake. So you said, I will read it to you. That hurts. Congratulations. I didn't think anybody could actually be as inconfident as you are, but you've got the cake. The most incompetent company I have ever done business with. Really what is. does that mean? Incompetent? You said incompetent. Well, I meant to say incompetent, not Well, incompetent. How, we're not mind readers. Do you have a say in spell toy there that you can play with to learn how to speak? Speak and say? You are. What does it mean you've got the cake? Do you have an eating disorder, are, Karen? In other words, you've just really been crazy level of incompetent. Incompetent. I, mean, I think you you're trying to say that I'm car. confident. If you I think you're trying to I give me cake. I think you want I to have. do anal with me and I don't appreciate it. And why are you offering me cake in a tweet? Lady, I don't know who you are, but you're obviously not with her. Goodbye. Uh, clearly I am with her. <laughs> <laughs> Roasted. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hey, hello. Hi, is that the illiterate MAGA slag? I'm sorry, what? I said, is that the illiterate MAGA slag? MAGA slug? MAGA slag. Slag. You're a slag. I was just checking that everything got resolved. I saw that you finished with the uh, supervisor. No, I did. <laughs> hey, guys, <laughs> you think you're having fun. A <laughs> little bit. Come on, you're having fun, too. You're having fun, too, though. Be honest, you're having fun, too. No, I'm not actually because you know what? Why? I got to do. We're all and having fun. Our take expense take reports are boring, though. We're doing you prank. Love us. We're doing prank calls. That's expense much more tell fun. Us Karen, tell us that you love us. us. Tell us that you love tell us. Tell us you love us. No, I'm not. Yes. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Oh my God, guys! All right. It's I'm Monday. Come on. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Show a little love, honey. Bye. 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 <laughs> Amazing. Okay. Hello? Hi, I'm looking for a Teresa. My name is Scooby McGuire. I'm a manager. I don't believe you. <laughs> Are you okay if I record this phone call? Absolutely. This is an outgoing phone call. You have every right to do that, ma'am. Again, my name is okay. Scooby McGuire. I'm calling with Hertz. All right. Let me, um, let me see if I can't figure out how to hit record. <laughs> don't usually have to do this I don't believe you at all honey I don't believe I, you I, honestly uh, anytime I get a weird call I, I personally I mean with all the scams going on every day I, I, I understand where you're coming from no offense taken no offense taken at all ma'am um okay all right hold on one second uh, give me a second I, I honestly don't believe any of you guys are the I think you thought this was funny and um, that's what you're doing. Heart, record. Oh. Just let me know when you hit the record and now I'll, I'll do much okay. real. <laughs> All right. I'll call if I check it. No, take your time. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm, go ahead. I'm sorry. Another recording device. Using voice. Just your voice. Oh, God. You're fine. You're you know, fine. I don't care. It's fine. I, I'm, I'm absolutely convinced with this rod at this point. So say whatever the hell you want. So, ma'am, uh, have you ever let a nigger fuck you in the ass? Or is it something you always just kind of wish for and kind of fantasized about? I mean, is this something <laughs> that maybe you and your, your girlfriends, you know, you talk about it over breakfast or, or oh, brunch? What I would like to know is where did you get my phone number from? 
I don't think I put that on public. I've had your phone I? number for fucking, fucking ages, bitches. This fucking what are you talking about, Tyrone? Ma'am, 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 you know? ma'am, I can't be honest with you about what's going on. Would you like to know? Yes. I, I, I'll, I'll be completely transparent with you here. We're just a group of people, and we noticed that you were actually so stupid that you misspelled the word incompetent in a tweet, and we had to call and get you all riled up and get you all Karen triggered. So that's what this is about, okay? It's just that I you're literally... You, we don't mean any offense or anything. It's just you're literally the stupidest person we found on social media all year okay, long. So I have a double major mechanical engineering. I know, but... Bless your heart. I know. And And yet, despite all those years of formal education, you still can't spell the word incompetent. (laughs) It's pretty amazing, really. And so we thought we'd all just call and have a good laugh. We just thought we'd laugh, okay? That's why we're calling. It's all just a joke, okay? Come on. You like a good joke, don't you? You're an educated woman, allegedly. Yeah, see, there you go. Doesn't doesn't even feel good to let rip on someone, though. You know? You got to let out all the anger on us instead of some poor, unsuspecting customer service rep. Yeah, you as bad as you came across. <laughs> see? Exactly, exactly. We're doing a service here. Sweetheart. Yes, honey, baby. You know what it is like to be still working full-time and have a 98-year-old you're trying to take care of? And coordinate all her taxes for. Well, uh, you know, kill two birds with one stone and push her down the stairs one day. Be like, oh, there she goes. There she (laughs) goes. I'm offering solutions here. We do know what it's like. We do know what it's like. Bless you. Actually, funnily enough, everyone on this call knows what that's like, actually. And I'm not joking. That's why we're just having a laugh on a Monday. Yeah. Come on now. Surely you can appreciate that. I do. I do. All right. Yay. Have a good evening, guys. I'm going to go back to finishing my expense reports, which I hate. Okay, but and, you know what? Um, if Until you tell us that you love us, we're going to keep calling you forever. Every day until you tell us you love us. <laughs> so just admit it. Ab- Come on. Admit it. Just say it. What? Just say it. Want to like, like World War Three? I mean, yeah. you say I'm a MAGA person, but we didn't have any wars under Trump. Oh, no, no, let's not open this whole oh, kind of no, worms. No, no. All you have to say is I love you guys. Just, say, we'll that, you just say that you love us. Come on, love makes the world yeah, go come around. On. Come on. I love crazy people. We love We're you crazy. too. We love you too. We love you. <laughs> we love, love you. you. We love you too. Have a good evening, guys. You right, too. Bye. bye. I bye. love you. I love you. I'll be calling every day. All right, let's go. <laughs> see you there. You go. Hi. Okay. <laughs>